you're fresh out of the motorcycle safety class and itching to get out there and ride. You've selected the gear you like the most. A new helmet, gloves, a good jacket, and everything else to follow at GAP. However, the one place you're stuck is on the first motorcycle. There are many options, and we are here with arguably 10 best motorcycles list. Hello, welcome to another fresh episode, before going deep, it's a humble request to all please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon, thank you, let's jump in. 10. KTM Corner Rocket, 390 Duke. Motorcycle Type, Standard, Naked. Displacement, 373 cubic centimeters. Engine, fuel-injected single-cylinder. Transmission, 6-speed. Price, $5,299. The KTM Corner Rocket is a standard-type motorcycle with a naked frame and minimal fairing but can ride like a sport motorcycle. The suspension is a bit more firm, as it's meant to handle the weekend touring and sport riding heavy cornering duties. With a simple single-cylinder engine, the power is manageable for beginners and capable of reaching highway speeds. The corner rocket has a mid-range seat height due to its firmer suspension and won't give under the rider's weight too much. In addition, it has an array of accessories for purchase for extra storage space and added customization. 9. Harley-Davidson Street 500 Motorcycle Type, Standard Slash Cruiser Displacement 494 cubic centimeters. Engine, fuel injected V twin, two cylinder. Transmission, six speed. Price, $6,899. The Harley Davidson Street 500 is the first step to your American motorcycle experience. The Street 500 is low slung with a 2.5 seat height. At a svelte 500 pounds, it can be handled easily by most beginners after they have graduated from their first safety course. The Street 500 is capable of daily commuting and weekend touring. It can be an ideal long-distance touring motorcycle with options to customize it with a large front fairing and saddlebags for extra storage. It also has an anti-lock brake option, which we recommend purchasing along with the security system option. Motorcycle theft is a constant threat, especially for Harleys, so having a little extra security won't hurt. 8. Kawasaki Z125 Pro AC Motorcycle Type, Sport, Mini Naked Displacement, 125 cubic centimeters Engine, Fuel Injected 1 Cylinder Transmission, 4 Speed Price $3,399. The Kawasaki Z125 Pro SEI is a recent addition to the Kawasaki New Rider endorsed lineup. The Z125 is a good motorcycle for weekend riding or daily commuting. It's not too heavy to handle and the 125 cubic centimeters engine doesn't have too much power to accommodate a beginner. One thing it doesn't have is a front fairing, so you will feel a little more wind as you ride on your daily commute or weekend fun. The Z125 is listed as new rider friendly. It has a medium seat height of 31.7 inches tall but has adjustable components to adjust the ride taller or shorter to accommodate almost every rider well for comfort. Unfortunately, the Z125 does not have an anti-lock braking system available. 7. Harley-Davidson Super Low Motorcycle Type, Cruiser Displacement, 373 cubic centimeters Engine, Fuel-Injected Single Cylinder Transmission, 6 Speed Price, $8,699 The Harley-Davidson Super Low is the essence of a low-slung cruiser motorcycle. You don't ride on a cruiser, you really ride in one. The Superlow shares a complete line of accessories with the HD model lineup. It features a low 25.5 inch seat height that can fit most riders. With easy ergonomics, you can ride for a few hundred miles a day without getting a cramp. 
the Superlow features a low 25.5 inch seat height that fits most riders easily. You can adjust the foot pegs and seat to accommodate larger riders, and it's not a heavy motorcycle that you'll have to worry about being too much to maneuver. The power isn't excessive but offers enough to handle a long ride on an interstate or just a quick trip to the store. 6. Honda Grom Motorcycle Type, Sport, Mini Displacement, 125 cubic centimeters Engine, Fuel-Injected Single Cylinder Transmission, 4-Speed Price, $3,399 the Honda Grom may seem like a mini bike, but it has more sports features than you expect. The suspension and seat height are like a sports bike, and its affordability makes it a good starter motorcycle. The Grom doesn't have enough muscle to do more than commute on the city streets, but it will get you there in style with a shiny blue, red, green, or orange finish. The Grom makes a good starter motorcycle as it's more than capable of commuting and having some fun on the weekends and the taller seat height will accommodate most new riders. The Grom won't handle highway speeds well, so be wary of trying to outpace heavy high-speed traffic. Otherwise, it's a fun sporty ride that's great for new riders seeking a little fun and excitement. 5. Kawasaki Ninja 300 ABS Motorcycle Type Sport Displacement, 296 cubic centimeters Engine, fuel-injected two-cylinder Transmission, six-speed Price, $4,999 to $5,299 The Kawasaki 300 is a simple, full-fairing sport motorcycle that is great for beginners. The motorcycle is capable of weekend sport riding, corner carving, or daily commuting. It's lightweight and has enough power to keep up with traffic without being too much to handle. As with other sport motorcycles, you can expect the 300R to be slightly taller in seat height and have higher foot pegs to handle the tight cornering. One extra feature available for a little more than the base price is an anti-lock braking system that adds extra stopping capability. It's a good value for the money and is a recommendation to scoop up the ABS over the standard base model if you can. 4. Yamaha V Star 250 Raven Motorcycle Type, Cruiser Displacement, 250 cubic centimeters Engine, carbureted V-twin, 2-cylinder Transmission, 5-speed Price, $4,349 the Yamaha Cruiser line has a long history of innovation in keeping with that tradition is the Yamaha V Star 250 Raven Edition. This low-slung cruiser features a stout 350 cubic centimeters engine that is meant to run for long periods of time. It features a plush suspension that provides you comfort through short and long rides to build your riding endurance and skills. The V-Star 250 is a great first motorcycle for a beginning rider because it is low weight, low power, and has a low seat height that can accommodate most new riders. It has great fuel mileage that will give you the chance to really put some miles on the odometer and has a great lineup of accessories to match your individual style. 3. Yamaha SR400 Motorcycle Type, Standard, Naked Displacement 399 cubic centimeters engine fuel injected single cylinder transmission 5 speed price $5,999 the Yamaha SR400 features retro styling reminiscent of motorcycles back in the 1970s with a slim narrow frame and air-cooled engine Add a fuel-injected, thumper engine that can get an estimated 66 miles per gallon, and you have a recipe for a fun ride that will go all day. The 5-speed transmission is suitable for city and highway riding, but without a fairing, you will feel all the wind and weather during every ride. The SR400 is still an excellent motorcycle for a first-time rider, even without a fairing for wind protection. The seat height is just under 31 inches and will be comfortable for most riders on a plush wide seat. 
One unique feature that oozes old school cool is a unique Kickstarter true to the history books. That's right, no push button starter. If you don't have a solid right leg, you might acquire one after kickstarting the SR400 before every ride. 2. Kawasaki vs. X300 ABS Motorcycle type, touring, adventure Displacement, 269 cubic centimeters Engine, direct fuel injected parallel twin, two-cylinder Transmission, six-speed Price $5,399 to $5,699. The Kawasaki Versus is a taller adventure model that has a little of everything to go almost anywhere you're ready to ride. It features a medium windscreen on the front that will block a lot of wind and weather as you ride on your commute or on the way to your favorite riding trail. The two-cylinder has plenty of torque to keep you moving forward at low speeds while out playing in the dirt yet can keep up with highway speeds if you travel on a long weekend ride. The Versus X makes a good beginner motorcycle for those that can ride a taller bike, as the seat height is on the upper end. It comes standard with dual hard saddlebags to hold plenty of gear, whether that's a change of clothes, some extra jackets, or rain gear. The suspension is supple to handle on and off-road riding and keeps you comfortable in any scenario. With the fairing and windscreen, it will keep you out of the oncoming wind and allow you to ride for miles and miles as you gain more riding experience. 1. Suzuki DR-Z400SM Motorcycle Type, Supermoto Displacement, 398 cubic centimeters Engine, carbureted single-cylinder Transmission, 5-speed transmission Price $7,299. The Suzuki DR-Z400SM is a unique motorcycle at first glance. The SM stands for Supermoto. Think of it as a blended motorcycle with 80% motocross and 20% street riding DNA. Supermotos are designed to handle a mix of every riding with a supple suspension that can soak up the bumps and jumps of urban riding with tires capable of highway speeds. It features all the lighting and protection of a standard motorcycle but has some extra suspension to go anywhere and do anything. The Supermoto has a taller seat height of 35 inches to accommodate suspension travel. It may be too tall for some riders, but it tends to sink lower to the ground under the rider's weight. It makes a good beginner motorcycle because it is an excellent option for urban settings that see a lot of street miles without the need for a fairing to block the wind at highway speeds. It's scantily clad with minimal bodywork, just as a street-based motocrosser would expect. It's lightweight, offers a torquey engine for daily riding, and it will keep you smiling every time you ride. 